I heard something a while back that at first surprised me, but as it set in and settled, I realized that it wasn't surprising when I looked at my own life. What I heard was that I represent my generation, the first generation in American history where men as a majority don't know how to build their own shelter. And I gave it some thought and really thought about my own life being raised in a home without a dad in the home being raised by a mom. And, but I still had to do chores. I had to go do things every weekend, uh, just about. I had to go clean up outside, go work on the yard. I've had to take out a pool, put in the yard, uh, the sod and all that. And, and truthfully, I, I, I hated it. I absolutely hated blue collar work, but I found it was training me for something for later. And my mom was actually compensating for the fact that I didn't have a dad in the home teaching me some things. When I had my own son in my mid thirties, I started learning um, things a little bit quicker of like uh, how to build stuff, how to make things. I'd always kind of been privy to, if you show me something, how to do it, I can do it. But I wasn't raised with someone in the garage showing me how to make things and create them. But I, I was good at following uh, patterns and instructions and learning how to implement something that someone was, was teaching me if I could have it modeled by someone else and that really led me to where I'm at now and what I do now. And I've owned different blue collar businesses. I've been raised about around it by, by my grandfather who was a building inspector. He was a lot of my male influence for entrepreneurship and uncles and family. Everyone knew how to build things and make things. I went to school and they wanted me to be, you know, I went to a private uh, all boy uh, high school Then I went to a private college and it was really just the trajectory that I was taught to be on. I remember that old poster, you know, work smart, don't work hard. To work smart, not hard. And, and that was the marketing that was really driven into me. But I'd always had this uh, proclivity towards working with blue collar companies because I grew up around it. I was familiar with it. And I'd always been more on the computer side of, of business and wanting to do design and understand uh, artwork and websites and the SEO for the company. So uh, having been in those businesses and learning more about digital marketing over the years and done it for, for several years now is, is uh, and then got into it as a full-time career is I found that there was a niche for working with blue collar companies. Blue collar companies were really, I thought, kind of getting the shaft. They either were forced to go with you know, the Craigslist crackhead of somebody that's trying to make some side money to buy their beer or go out or, or whatever, just kind of uh, fly by night, uh, flash in the pan. We've heard these different terms. And the other option was really going through the other side, which was maybe really a highly expensive firm. So I wanted to build something that was more midsize, affordable, something that was I would pay for myself and say, this is something that I would I would implement my own business. So that's really how I ended up here. And uh, I get asked the question a lot because I teach a lot of students. I get asked the question about college and having gone to college and why am I not using my college degree? And I got into college for behavioral therapy. So I, I guess at any given time, I'm, I'm using my degree in real life. But really, the, uh, it's, it's really what you make of it. And what I tell my students to be completely honest with them is that I don't find college to be necessary for success. And some people will get on me or they'll troll or they'll leave negative comments because I have an opinion about it. Well, how can you be against college if you went to college? Well, you know, how can you be for marriage if you're divorced? I mean, it, that's how I developed my opinion was actually having that firsthand experience of college and realizing that even though I was there, I felt at a place that it wasn't for me. It wasn't somewhere that I really belong. So what I do now and through this channel is teaching people, teaching students, kids to adults and everybody in between. I've taught with people that are six and I've taught with people that are in their 60s. And really it's, it's bringing that, that education of how can I get out and do business. And what I love about the blue collar side is I love several different parts of it. And one is that by learning a skill you can go out and monetize that skill. So more importantly, than sending my son to college or having him, wanting him to go to my alma mater, the college I graduated from is really, I want him to 
do something that he loves, but really how do I, how do I monetize that or that skill from school? So that's where I love seeing those types of businesses succeed is understanding the digital side of it, but knowing that those businesses are necessary for the health of our economy. And you are always, we are always going to need plumbers, electricians, again, back to the original thing that I represent that generation that doesn't know how to build or do things. So there's going to be more and more of a need for it as we progress and more generations come behind us because there are less and less people learning these types of mechanical industrious skills as far as, you know, uh, repairing, um, you know, how to properly, uh, you know, clean out or, or build something, construction, all this type of stuff. There's going to be that necessary call, uh, that demand. So I, I applaud the blue collar industry. I, I'm privileged to be a part of it because this is the area where I can serve is helping businesses continue to be successful and, and have someone that comes from that industry, comes from that upbringing. There were gaps in my upbringing, but I had to learn it. And my mom did a phenomenal job, I think, by really keeping that consistently introduced in my life. My grandfather helping influence that as well. But now I feel that this is not only an opportunity for me to talk about my business, but really help educate folks on uh, getting started in their company, whether they're 20 something years along or whether they're brand new. I really love where people are at in the startup phase, whether they're rebranding or coming out of into business for the first time. So if you get a chance, subscribe to this channel. Uh, this is AMG TV. And a lot of the teachings that I have been doing in my program are going to be published here on this. Now, I'm not saying this is to replace college, but again, if college is not for you, it doesn't mean that you can't be successful. And I'll leave you with this. I think the biggest detriment that my generation was taught, and I know I'm not alone on this as a generation, but my generation was taught those that didn't go to school were less than or couldn't be as successful. So I want to remind you, if you're watching this, and you know how to build things, you know how to work with a customer, you know how to fill up a truck and take it somewhere, I want to remind you that you're brilliant, that you have something that's intelligent, that you bring to our society, that you're valuable, and don't let the world tell you any different. Brilliance comes in different forms, and I know a lot of people that are book smart and they're broke, and I know a lot of people that are out there picking up junk and cleaning carpets, and they're, they're wealthy, and they're happy, and they have tremendous assets and value and just greatness in their life. So I want you to know that if you were lied to in this process and taught that you had to go to college to be successful, I'm here to tell you, and I have several testimonies through my clientele that can prove to you that that is not true. Some of them have gone to college, some have not, but I love education and it's about continually learning. It doesn't stop after two years, four years, eight years. Education is something that happens all the time. I work in SEO and the algorithms for just Google alone can change eight to 10 times a day. So there's a consistent amount of education that we need to keep flowing through our team, through our business. So again, we hope you find value in this channel and you're valued by being a worker in our country. So thank you for all the value that you bring. Thank you for being part of Blue Collar Nation. And I wish you all the success in your business.